Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video. In this video, we are going to talk about the data binding as well as binding results in Spring MVC framework. So I have created a small project uh, and through which I will try to explain you about the data binding and uh, binding result. So let me show you the files which I have created in this project. So first of all, I had created a uh, web.xml there I have registered dispatcher servlet which works as a MBC controller uh, another XML file I have a dispatcher servlet XML there uh, I have rest I have configured uh, this package control package for auto scanning and I have defined another bean a bean class is called internal resource Resol view resolver who is basically responsible to resolve the physical location of our views right so there we have a specified prefix and suffix right so our controller request handler method returns the logical view name so logical view name basically prefix with this prefix and that is suffix with this I suppose logical view name is returned by the request handler method is welcome then complete location would be wavinf slash views slash welcome dot jsp uh, in that case in views directory you must have a welcome.jsp file something like this okay we have a one register register.jsp file from there we are taking input from the register uh, user and once we cl click on the submit button or you may uh, rename as a register once user clicks on the register button then uh, form is going to submit to the uh, request handler method who is having the URL as slash register success and method as HTTP method as post so if you look if you look into the my controller so this is the method who is, who is having the URL pattern uh, slash register and HTTP method post and in that case whatever data you are entering on this right whatever field you are entering on this so this form is backed by the one of the bean class and that bean class is called backing bean object or backing form bean class and every uh, every property of this bean is associated with this html form right so if you look into the in this form basically we have we are using the S spring provided tags so and that's why we have specified the tag lib directory over here tag lib URI and prefix and this is the spring provided form tag and spring provides a lot of tags so some of the tags like a spring uh, colon form a spring colon input which is basically used to take the text input a spring has also a tag is called radio buttons right and path whatever you are assigning the path that should match with the this variable name right so this variable name should match with the whatever you are assigning over here in the path so and here basically if you look into the uh, in earlier video tutorial we had used form colon radio but here we are using radio buttons and path we have given the gender because a variable name is gender that's why and here items equal to I have assigned dollar gender list and this is coming from the R controller class itself so if you look into the controller class I have created a method called uh, header message actually this was supposed to be something else or you can say uh, com common data something like that common data you can give the any name whatever you want that name you can specify common data right and here uh, we are just using the key value pairs to add an object in the model object right and this will be automatically uh, instantiated by the container just you need to pass as a parameter here we are adding the uh, header message which we are as uh, we are accessing this header message in many JSPs so register as well as welcome uh, register success JSP here created a three list and there we are adding a uh, technology list cities list as well as gender list and this all list we are just added in the model with certain key and this key we are using to retrieve values on the JSP right so here gender list we are retrieving similarly we are retrieving a technology list 
and cities list and we have used a uh, spring provided tags form column options i hope you understood this and we have a different kind of data type in this model class if you look into the model class we have a string uh, we have a list uh, list of technology we have a date and long these are the data type so here basically we are going to talk how basically who is responsible to convert uh, whatever data we are sending from the registration page basically that comes as a string and that automatically converts or bind with this appropriate type right so a spring framework basically helps us to convert this binding happens by the spring framework only right so when you just submit this form then request goes to the this method right and here basically we have used at the rate model attribute right and basically with the help of model attribute just we are populating the all uh, just we are binding the uh, submitted form with this student object and data is automatically gets binded with these properties right and uh, we have another request handler method is called uh, the register page and basically this request handler method is basically responsible to display the registration form right so when i run this project then uh, this method is gonna uh, return register so register.jsp will be forwarded to the client and here we have given the url pattern as slash so that when will hit a uh, home directory of this project then this is going to forward right and here uh, this method is having a parameter is model and model we are just adding a, uh, a student uh, key as a student and value as empty object because uh, because uh, just we are telling to the spring framework uh, our JSP register.jsp is backed by the student object right if you do not add this object then a spring is going to throw an error a spring will not be able to render this page right and that's why we are passing command name or here you also you can pass the modal attribute equal to a student a student is nothing but the this key in control this is the this key we are passing so i hope you understood now let's run this project now this is the page that we can open in the external browser so here i'm going to enter a name education mail and technology i'm going to add uh, select three technologies i want to spring jsp uh, location i'm going to specify chennai phone number some fake phone number i'm going to specify there is no validation behind the scene and so month is 10 october day is let's say 15 and 2000 if you click on the register button then form is getting binded successfully and you can see you, we moved on the uh, register success.jsp and uh, corresponding data is uh, binded successfully right so here uh, this thanks to this model attribute this helps us to uh, bind the form with this model object successfully right but uh, there is some issue when you try to submit this data with some uh, invalid input suppose this phone number is uh, is having the data type as long but if you specify some alphanumeric and if you try to register then you are end up with the http status 400 so data binding gets filled and uh, you are not able to reach on the registration success full page right so how to handle this kind of scenario so to handle this kind of scenario we required a something which called binding result so after this model object you will have to specify the something is called binding results this is already we have seen in the previous tutorial still i want to dig it out i want to give, go in depth i want to explain you that's the reason uh, now here if some data binding uh, failure occurs then all errors is going to put inside the binding results and you can 
look into this binding result binding result has a method is called has errors if some error comes some binding data binding gets failed and due to that due to that some error occurs then this comes with the true value and here you can say return here you can return a uh, model object model and view object with this register right so you want to keep the user on the same page registration page right and uh, basically whatever error is default error comes from the spring framework if you want to see those errors on the registration.jsp page then one more modification you will have to do over here here you will have to use form a spring pro provides a tag is called uh, form colon errors and in errors path equals so i'm going to specify uh, a student dot a star so that all this will display the all errors for the all fields for a student model object right so let's try to run it and see what happens now let's run on the server redeploy it again now if i try to register with name education mail let's select jsp servlet chennai and phone number again i'm going to specify alphanumeric and date of joining 10th 10 2017 if you click on the register button now nah, see this error is coming with the but this is the default error you cannot send this kind of error to the end user right so for technical person that's fine technical person can understand provided a string cannot convert into the uh, number right so basically whatever string is entered by the user we are trying to convert into the long and that conversion gets failed and same error we have posted on the view and that's not good right so how to perform the validation with the some appropriate message so that any user can understand those things already we have seen in the past videos right so my intention was to show you in this video how uh, basically uh, automatic conversion happens or data binding happens by the spring framework right and if you want to customize these errors then uh, we have a uh, hibernate uh, jsr 303 and jsr 349 uh, validations right validations related uh, annotations so those annotations you can use and you can uh, display the some appropriate message uh, so uh, here all message is going to display on the top of the registration page itself but uh, in real scenario you would want to you would want to display error message beside the uh, field itself and that i already i have shown in the previous video tutorial so in this video tutorial you have seen how automatic data conversion or automatic data binding happens by the spring framework and what is the significance of uh, binding results right so if you want to post some data or update some data on the database side then before uh, uh, before saving this data on the server or saving into the database you uh, must validate those data or, uh, and if some data conversion gets failed then those things also you should take care about so this is going to handle by the binding results itself right whatever error or validations failure happens those things uh, we are uh, high spring framework keep into the binding results and we can take help of the binding result to display error page on the JSP itself right so thanks for watching this video this code I'm going to upload on the github and github location I will specify in the video description itself if you have any queries or question then please do post below to the video I will try to answer those queries thanks for watching this video